Hi everyone! I hope you are having a great day. I got really inspired by this upcoming Valentine's Day and I wanted to show you how to create a nice romantic evening um, fantasy makeup just in case you guys are gonna going out on Valentine's Day night. So let's get to it. I hope you guys enjoy it. Start with concealer under your eye and lid and on the left side of your eye where your butterfly will land. Next, put a little powder on your face so you won't be shiny. I'm using Sephora R20 for fair skin. Before we create the butterfly, we'll start with a little beauty application on the right eye. Apply any liquid eyeliner and create a nice line, starting from the inner corner of the eye and work your way out. After that, use any black eye pencil, make sure it's sharp, and apply it under your lower lash line, only halfway so it creates a nice bigger eye opening look. Now grab any white eye pencil, make sure it's sharp, and apply it to your waterline for a brighter look. Let's finish up the eye with some eyeshadow. Starting with my MAC palette and creating it with my regular brush using the dark pink color all over on the eyelid. For the next step I'm using my Nikki 2 Urban Decay palette. I chose a vanilla shimmery color named Buticol. Apply it to your brow bow area and close to your nose as your highlight with a small regular fluffy brush. Apply the same shadow with a small angle brush to the inner corner of the eye for a brighter look. Apply any liquid eyeliner and draw small black circles in the brow bone area. Keep in mind that these circles will outline the little jewels that we will apply at the end. I'm going back to my MAC palette and apply black eyeshadow to the outer corner of my eye with a small regular brush. And of course a little blush on the cheek using my blush brush and applying my NARS Super Orgasm blush. I love, love this product because of the extra sparkles. Now the fun part begins. Take a black eye pencil and sketch out the shape of the butterfly so you get an idea where and how big you want to apply it. Also, if you mess it up, you can just easily remove it with a makeup remover and start again. When you are happy with the size and shape, you can sketch out the design on the upper wing by drawing thin lines shaped like the crescent moon. Then grab a liquid eyeliner that has a nice pointy tip and draw small circles on the top of the wing. Once again, keep in mind that these circles will be outlines for the small and medium sized shaped jewels. Let's move to the bottom of the wing and draw also a thin crescent moon shaped lines with a black eye pencil.
Now let's make the butterfly darker. Trace the outline with liquid eyeliner. Now let's bring our butterfly to life. For this step, all you need is aqua color palette, a little cup of water, and a small thin brush. Take the white color and only start shading the inside part of the butterfly. Then take the red color and start filling in the upper and lower section of the wing. Keep the middle section free. Now you can fill in the middle section with light pink. I mix mostly white and a little red together. You can also go a little lower and add the same color in it to create a little highlight. And after that, the coloring part is done. Now let's make our butterfly pop. Remember the circles we created in the beginning? Now let's fill them in with jewels. Using your favorite eyelash glue, dab it in the center of each circle, then apply the jewel. Final step to the butterfly is to add a little more bling. Dip your regular brush into a sparkling gel and dip it in your silver sparkle and apply it in the inside part of your butterfly and a little on the edges, just so then the butterfly will stand out even more. Now let's do our lashes. Lightly apply mascara on your upper and your lower lashes. Then let's add the lashes. I'm using red cherry number 80. You can also add some sparkles under your eyes and on the side of your butterfly for some extra sparkly look. And finish up the look with some nice bold red lipstick. And it's done. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed the video tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe if you would like to see more of my videos. And uh, yep, this is it for today. <laughs> see you guys next time. Bye!